Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Otter Outdoorsman. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about a game that I've uh, kind of came up with. It may not be new, um, I don't know if anyone has done it before, but it's kind of a game that I want to show off. Um, it's a education game. Now, I've had a lot of people bring up to me whenever I do plant videos or I show off my knowledge of plants that they kind of wish that they would know plants that they wish they knew plants a little bit better, especially wild edible plants. And this game is to kind of help you get to know them better. This is the plant ID game. Now, I'm not expecting any video responses to this, but if you want to do them, go for it. Um, I'd love to spread this a little bit more, but I just kind of want to try this out and see if other people like this. Now, how does this game work? Well. It works kind of in three phases. So no really points, there's no really winner, there's not really any winners, but kind of a fun way of approaching learning how to do a plant ID. So there's three phases of the game, and what you do is you first you pick a point in the woods. You mark that point however you want, stick, your backpack, um, piece of bacon, um, a tree. Like you pick a tree or something and you set a distance uh, we'll go for your general distance we'll say is five feet we'll go with that because there's a lot of plants um, so within that five feet area um, in a five feet circle around that point you you try and identify without any assistance books uh, without any books or anything you try and identify as many plants as possible as many as you know. You either write them down, you memorize them, take pictures of them and say, okay, these are the amount of plants I know. That's phase one. That's your current knowledge. Phase two, knowledge you have on you. Books um, or quick precursory searches. Phase two is if you have a plant ID book on you. You try and see how many plants you can identify on you, uh, how many plants you can identify in that circle. Cool. If you get that, then you may have a bit more plants after that. So after you've gone through and identified as many as you could, then you see how many you can ID with the equipment you have on you. You can even use a phone if you want, but don't use plant ID websites or anything. Um, and by that, I mean like plant ID groups on Facebook. I belong to a few myself and I use them as a research guides. Um, but kind of like if you have an app on you, that goes, okay, I can identify plants with that. But if it doesn't ID it, whatever. Then there's phase three. What I'd like to call homework or what I have to, what I can't figure out. With those, you can take a picture of it, write down some ID notes or whatever. And now you know what plants you need to work on. Plants you need to figure out at home, when you get home or when you have that. So then you now have a set of knowledge of, so phase one is what you know, phase two is what you can figure out while you're out there, and phase three is what you, do, what you don't, or what you need to work on. And doing that, the more you play this game, the more you'll start to, phase one will start to get longer. Um, and phase two will also get longer and the less you'll have to rely on phase three. Um, so I'm gonna try and play the game a little bit. Um, I will let you guys see kind of how I'm gonna do this. Um, I'll take you on my path of it. I'm not, the mo I'm not an expert on plants, but I have a good set knowledge. So my phase one may be longer than yours, but it may also be shorter depending on your knowledge. Because I only know edible plants a little bit better. So, let's see how I do. I want to see how you, and I, if you guys play it at home, I'd love to see what, you, what your results are down below. Um, but it, or even just some feedback on this game. Um, the, as I said, I'm calling it the plant ID game. Because um, it, it kind of, it gives you a way of knowing your knowledge and knowing where your weak points are and then growing on those weak points. So, let's try it out.
So I've set up camera B uh, for me to play this game. Um, you're going to be on my main camera, um, but you're on my you're on camera B for this. Uh, but basically, what I but this is just to catch me doing playing the game. Uh, but I'll be showing you guys close ups with my DSLR. They'll have a microphone of me telling you what the plants are if I know what the plants are. Uh, if not, I will probably be doing a, um, most likely a, uh, well, even if I know what the plant is, you'll be seeing it when somewhere down here, uh, most likely. So, um, my point is, let's see if you can see it on the camera. Uh, it should be, most likely, it's the tree. I'm gonna show you in just a second. Saturate. So, um, that's gonna that's my center point. Um, I'm probably gonna do a half circle because I can only show that on the camera, or at least I'll try and film it. But if anything, I'll just try and do a uh, a speed up from a certain point. Um, but let's see. There we go. Um, so this is kind of just a overview camera. So. You guys have that, and I will kind of get the game going. Let's get going. This is a American beech tree. My center point tree is also a American beech. This is Smilex rotundifolia. This is white pine, but I don't know how it got here, but it's here. This is a dead log from what looks like a pine. Definitely a pine. But it's rotten. Uh, most likely a uh, white pine as they're pretty common around here. But yeah. This is a very young wintergreen. I just tested it and smelled it and it smells of wintergreen. So it's very, very young wintergreen. This is a sapling white pine uh, starting to poke through. Pretty cool. This is moss. I'm not even going to try and identify it in phase two or three. This is just moss. You liking this game yet? Really wasn't much around here, so. Doesn't help that I picked an open area that was uh, basically a American beach patch. So I only really stuck in phase one, minus a couple plants that I kind of just lumped in with phase one, which was basically just moss and lichen, which not even worth going into phase two or three with. So mostly I was in phase one for my entire for this entire game, well, my round of it, but. Let's, I'll bring you guys in the outro. See you in a moment. Okay guys, so as I said, my, I ended up staying in phase one, but if you don't stay in phase one, what you do is you use what resources you have on you. What be it a plant ID app or a plant ID book, um, use those. And then if you go into phase three, 
take pictures or take notes of the plants that you can't identify, take them home, and try and figure them out when you get home with more books or plant ID groups or something like that. And then for when you go out next time, you try it again. I'll be playing this game in the future um, periodically because I think it's a fun one. Um, but I ended up playing it kind of in what I'd like to say, not really easy mode or hard mode, I don't know which one it is. Um, I played it in a beach patch because of just ease of filming and um, because I had motocross bikes going past me at the time. Um, but as far as because of ease of filming, and I'm also doing this, I'm filming this in early fall. So plants are kind of dying. But I want to play this in various seasons. And I'd like to see what you guys think of this game. And I'd like to see you guys try and play it as well. Um, as I don't need a, don't require video, video responses, but I like to hear results if anyone tries it or even what you think of it. So, anyways, my name's Nate. I'm the Auto Outdoorsman. You guys, you guys outside, have some fun, learn something, learn about some plants. But, anyways, get outside, have some fun. See everyone.